Welcome everyone, welcome to another preview. This is Metal Canyon and we'll be checking out a game by Stereo Games called Car Manufacture. It's uh, something that I've been quite interested in, uh, interested in for a while because I love management games and I love stuff with, you know, to do with car building and it's pretty cool. And here, oh, free play tutorial, all challenges. By the way, this is still sort of early access, even though up here it says full 1.0 version. Uh, but just so you know, this isn't the full release. Um, this is still early access, still might be things that are unpolished and so on and so forth. And I have not touched this game at all. So we're going into this together. <clears throat> but look at this, you build your entire production line and then they build cars and stuff. I mean, that's that's awesome. Welcome to Car Manufacture. The beginning of the 20th century brought new challenges and opportunities. Show the qualities of an excellent leader as you become the head of a car factory. It is up to you what the future of the automotive industry will look like. Oh wow. <clears throat> Welcome to Car Manufacture, the ultimate place to build your dream factory. I'm Henry, and I'll be your personal guide. Alright Henry. Look, we've just received our first task. I love this because too many... Whoa, that time is advancing really fast. I love this because... Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa. Uh, fortunately, I've just uh, conceived an excellent and modern idea for the first car. Let's take a look. Okay. I love tutorials that are interactive. This is what every game should do. And I'm actually going to reduce the music volume a bit more. Uh, I absolutely hate when games give you this huge text, wall of text... Uh, and then several pages and that you know call it a tutorial because not many people have the um, You know patience to actually read through all of that and I don't know it, It's just way better if you're learning as you go and it's showing you where to click and so on and so forth I know that back in the day we used to get manuals that we had to read through for games and such but you know times have changed research new blueprint discovered Engine capacity, 7 liters, I'm assuming that is. Number of cylinders, 16. God damn. Wait, what? 295 horsepower? That much? Oh no, it's an i6. It's not a... No, it is 16 cylinders. Okay. Is it really 300 horsepower in that time? I know it's a 7 liter, but I mean back then, but, you know, it didn't really get much horsepower out of that. Maximum speed 200. Mass 1.4 tons. Roadster, purpose luxury, Regency. Tank Spectra. Corvette Spectra. Festiva Supra. Frontier. Yeah, this is going to be the new Frontier. Uh, yeah, it is. 300 horsepower. Click here. Car blueprint uh, research. Available. Do I have to click on it? No. Okay, click here. What a fantastic car model name. I believe you'll excel in this role. Come, let me show you around. I wish I could pan the camera more. First, let's learn how to move the camera. Use WASD or hold down right mouse button to drag. That's kind of weird. Press Q and E or hold the middle mouse button to drag and rotate the view. Okay. You can scroll to zoom in and out. Okay. Oh, there's a nice little depth of field going on as well. It is time to start up the factory. Let's switch to editor mode to begin building. It looks like some construction is blocking our gate. Click left mouse button on the object. Now destroy the selected objects by clicking on the destroy icon. Oh, I have to pay for it. Of course. As you can see, the objects are grouped by many different categories. For now, let's locate and select the brick building. Oh. Click here. Now press and drag on the ground to construct our first building. Remember not to block the factory exit gate. Yeah, let's... Um, right, so how big do I build it? How much money do I have? I've got 20,000. Okay. Okay. Do I have to make more? Hello? How, how big do I need to build it? Um, oh, maybe I need the doors? No, I can't do that yet. Oh, it's it's here. 16 by 16. Okay. 
20 by 16. Okay, I guess that'll work. Our building requires a door. Clo uh, choose door and, and one of the walls. Uh, let's do it here, just in case we'll have like a garage door over there or something. Oh, that's cool. I love building uh, games and management games. Let's set up our first assembly line. Begin by placing an assembly station inside the building. Okay, so they do seem to have conveyor belts and stuff. So this isn't the very beginning of uh, automotive industry. Because as you probably know, Ford started that. Um, begin by placing... Okay, place the assembly station. Can I rotate? Click to place, click and drag to rotate. Oh, Z and X. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing, but there you go. You also need a gate to allow the cars to be driven outside. Okay. But where do I place it? I don't know. Is is this where they'll come off the assembly line? Because it looks like they drive up there. So maybe here. I don't know. <clears throat> now we need to connect both uh, to finish our first assembly line. Select conveyor link. Connect an assembly station to a gate so that cars can be driven outside. Later you will be able to connect many assembly stations together to create assembly lines. Okay. Ah, it starts from there. Okay, well I need to... How do I move this one? Click and drag to place. No. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I can only destroy it. I cannot move it anymore. No, wait. Yeah, I can only destroy it. Oh well. We'll just leave it like this then. Wee. Oh. I think uh Yeah, that, that that wasn't the best. Well, this is the tutorial, so I think we'll be fine. How do I destroy this? <laughs> How do I destroy it? Hold on. Uh uh There's a lot of stuff here. Um, to remove. Okay. There we go. Okay, there we go. But I have to move the doors as well. Well, destroy the doors, I guess. And you know what? Destroy this as well. I'm just losing. I'm hemorrhaging money. Okay, let's try this again. Let's, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now let's designate the storage zone. We're going to need it to store resources needed for the production. Ah, I'm kind of... Gate. Okay, let's... This is going to be the exit. And then... Okay, we're going to have it like this. Okay, so we got half of our money back. There we go. All right, now we need the storage, like it said. Um, four by four. Like so. The storage pallet is, uh, designates a place from which workers pick up and drop resources. Every type allows for various number of resources to be stored. Storage pallet. Two pallets. Okay. It's time to manage the production. For uh, for that, we need to switch back to play mode. Click on assembly station in the factory mode to set the car model it produces. Car production is divided into phases. Each phase requires one or more car parts, which need to be stored. Let's begin by choosing our car model in the assembly line. Select the assembly and then choose the model. It's going to be this big boy. Oh, I'm guessing th this is because this is the tutorial. We start with something like this. Ah, makes sense. Start production. Excuse me. <coughs> I am so sorry. I apologize. Ah, now it's time to set up the logistics. Click on the storage zone to access its orders. Storage UI allows you to investigate storage organization and manage orders. You can either create orders manually or use suggested orders section to automatically order parts required by your assembly stations. Okay, let's create the order. It will automatically know about the resources needed for the production. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff. Look at that. That is, wow, that is cool. Wheels, lights, accessory rods, trunk, seat, fender, grill, body, exhaust, gearbox. What about the uh, engine? We don't... I guess we'll have to make the engines. Oh, no, there's the engine. Do we just buy it, I guess? 
Place order. It's time to hire a few workers. Transporters will help us deliver goods based on the current logistics orders. You can see your potential employees for the uh, for hire tab. Every worker has stats, strength, agility, intelligence, and charisma. They influence how effective the worker will be at his job. Better workers are in general more expensive. Workers are paid weekly. You can see your current employees in the workers tab. Here you can also see how tired, happy, and motivated your workers are and fire them. Okay. Take a look at the starting level and salary expectations for each potential hire. Balancing between efficiency and financial management is crucial. <clears throat> okay, so where do I see those skills of theirs? Uh, is this? Open help. No, no, no. Uh, it doesn't say. This is probably the experience level 10, 5, level 3. Let's get some level 2s. I mean, it doesn't matter for now. Gregory Ford and transporter William Brown oh yeah these are all transporters why does he have 14 a week might have more skills or something let's do it like that we will also need mechanics who will transform our blueprints into real cars keep in mind that salary is not the only monthly pay but also the upfront cost of a hire okay let's get a Level 3, level 3, and level 1. Building our first car will make, uh, take some time, so let's stay in the high speed mode until we complete our manufacturing. No, I wanna... I wanna watch it. Meanwhile, we need to take care of uh, other important aspects. Let's go back to the editor mode. When the car leaves the assembly line, it will need a place to park until a client buys it. Select parking zone. Where are they going? Oh, these are probably the mechanics. Oh, until a client buys it. Okay. Uh, 12 by 8. There. Now let's designate the parking spot. Select it and place... That I'm clicking? Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, I was not expecting that to be so big. There we go. <laughs> Look at them carry the stuff. <laughs> Great, now it's time to build a place to promote and sell our products. Oh, so we're going to be selling the stuff as well right here. Let's be fancy this time. Select the Roman building. Oh. Press and drag to create another building. 12 by 12. Oh, okay. It's actually not bad at all. Hold on. 12 by 12. No any doors, I'm assuming. There we go. <clears throat> oh, look at them. Oh my god. <laughs> Select uh, similar to other designated spaces. We need the sales zone. Select it uh, and place by clicking and dragging inside the building. So just the entire thing, right? No, no it's not. It's just 8 by 8 Maybe that's where the models will be displayed? I don't know. We need a sales desk. Okay, talk to the client. There. Just the one. In order to start promoting our car, we need to place a sales slot. Ah, there you go. And then we select that and probably click here. Oh, look at that. It's taking shape. There's the fuel tank. <laughs> click on the sales zone to open up the sales and promotion settings. Clients will now come to your factory looking to buy a car. Clients usually have a specific model in mind, but a talented salesman can convince them to buy a similar model. There is always a chance that a sale will fail. Promote your cars or lower the price to sell more. Go to sales screen for detailed options. Select our car model. It can be designated to only one sales slot. Look at that thing. And price setting shows the total price of parts used in a single car assembly. Let's increase the margin to 90%. Hell yeah. In the advertisement tab, we can manage current and available promotion methods. I don't know what year this is supposed to be. Oh, it's 1929, so you're paying 13... Th Whoa, these are going to be some 
wealthy, wealthy customers coming in. 1329 was a lot of money. A lot of money. Um, click activate. Our first car advertisement. Door to door. <laughs> okay, popularity tab. We can delve into details about popularity of our product. The higher the popularity gain, the more clients will appear. To begin sales, we must introduce our car to the market. Release. Look at that, the engine is in. Now we need a proper salesman. Hire one in the workers tab. Alright. Let's wait until we make our first sell. Why is there only one mechanic working on this though? Is it, it can only be one mechanic per car? I don't know. But now I see that I should have placed, you know, I should have rotated this around or placed it on the right. So, uh, oh, I think there's customers coming. Frontier. Profession taxi driver? How are you going to afford that? Welder? Journalist? How are you guys affording this car? Yes, yes, this car is most lovely. Yes, definitely buy it. It looks like a rocket ship. Yes, it's got 16 cylinders. That's 16 more than your house has. Yes, it's also 7 liters of capacity, which is very, very ecological, uh, but also very powerful. Yes, yes, would you look out for cigar? That's probably what the uh, conversation is about. Let's let's jiggle about a little bit while watching the car. Oh, maybe they're actually waiting for the first car to be made. There's the two mechanics working on it. Okay, yeah, popularity is going up. I don't know what this exactly means. One, three, four, five. Is this how many cars are going to be sold? Or I don't know. Release dates, advertisements, trends, popularity gain two. Okay. Door to door. We don't have any newspaper right now or anything. <laughs> Wait. Oh, that's cool. They actually... The parts they pick up, they actually put on there. Look at that. Oh, I love that. I love games that do that. Oh, that is cool. Yeah, that is really cool. Now the wheels or something? Yep, wheels. Tiny, tiny wheels. And the spare? No, the right back. Is this finished? Where do we? Where do I see the progress of this car? Uh, there we go. 88% completion. Oh, lights. One more part. The windshield. No, no, the grill. Or the uh, the bar actually between the lights. Look at that. Look at that. It's finished our first car. Oh, it's beautiful. The wheels are turning, but it's beautiful. Like I said, this is early access and I'll uh Oh, they're already making the next car. Oh, he just jumped in. Nice. You could park it a bit nicer, man, Charles, but hey, that's okay. Alright, so now. Oh, yes, there's this is, um, I'm, I'm driving a car that goes below 200 kilometers per hour right now. Ooh, yes, so, so you shall be able to... Ooh. Depressing. This place seems depressing. Oh. Well, la da get out of there. Get out of there. Don't show your face here again. Yes, you see, I'm looking at that car. It's so good. It's so good, I want it. Oh, he actually sold it. We did it! We established our first happy customer. Take a look at the technology tree. There we can invest our hard-earned money to advance our factory. Ooh! It's very important for your factory to progress technologically. Click on the tech tree button to open the tech tree screen. By buying technologies, you will improve different aspects of your factory and unlock new features. Some technologies can be bought more than one time, giving more benefits but increasing in cost for each level. Oh, wow. Increase the maximum number of employees you can hire. No, I want to see the car. Okay, bye. Ooh, there he is. Happy customer. Wheels are clipping through, but that's okay. It's early access. 
As the time passes, our products are uh, becoming less and less popular on the market. We need to invest into research to keep up with the other competitors. Let's begin by creating a research zone. In either one of our buildings, newly created. Six by six. Okay, so I'll probably need more. Yeah, I'll need more. Now let's make it here then. I think I need to shut off V-Sync or something because it's doing that jittery motion. The research blueprint slot is necessary in order to set up current research product in the research zone. Jeez, my English is just horrible for some reason. The research desk is one of several objects that allow our researchers to develop a new blueprints. <clears throat> Click on the research zone. You can use a research station to discover new blueprints. Click on a research station and uh, select Discover to start the process. Click on the blueprint research screen button to learn more. Select the next project. Okay, it can be designated to only one research blueprint. Unknown. Upgrade to the next tier. Ooh. Now let's hire a few researchers which will take care of our brand new blueprint. Oh, I need three apparently. Don't I need more of these uh, desks then? Great job. Now we are... Oh, if you ever feel lost or want to delve into more advanced tips, click on the help icon. Never. Oh, congratulations on doing a great job in finishing the game. Yeah. Well, thank you everyone very much for watching. Okay, we've sold one unit. All right. Main menu. All right. Excellent. So now we can actually start a new game. Challenges, tutorial, or free play? Let's do free play then. What are the challenges? Remarkable beings from a spacecraft who reveal themselves as collectors keen on acquiring high quality cars for prices surpassing those of any terrestrial client. However, this exceptional chance carries significant risks, not meaning their collector specific demands might lead to your employees and warehouse goods disappearing. <laughs> You are represented with an unconventional engineering challenge. A compact car that's been ambitiously equipped with a massive V8 engine. <laughs> the vehicle's power to waste ratio is off the charts, making it a beast on the track but also dangerously prone to tipping over. Your task is to navigate this beast through a demanding test track, filled with sharp turns and a variety of obstacles designed to test both the car's limits and your driving skills. So you can actually drive things here. That's cool. Okay, let's do free play for now. Um... Maxima, Mondial, Volkskart, Miata, Maxima, Prism. Ooh, I like that. Rialto, Love, Diamante, Sanos, Sable. Oh, I like Sable as well. No, you know what? It's going to be Saber. Select logo. Ooh, an angry owl. That's interesting. It's like a Citroën, a Volkswagen type thing. Kind of like this one. I wish you could create your own uh, by, you know, putting various bits and pieces together. This one is kind of cool as well. It's like a modified Toyota. Uh, I like this one, but I don't like the lightning. Let's, let's just do it like this. Indianapolis, Minneapolis, Milwaukee, Detroit. I mean, we have to do Detroit, right? Wait. Everyone has... Oh, with its rich mo motorsports history, Indianapolis offers a compact space with no expansion, challenging players to maximize efficiency within a limited area. Ideal for those seeking a focused start. Minneapolis offers a moderate size and one expansion uh, plot, suitable for players seeking balanced growth. Milling industry background. Milwaukee, known for its manufacturing legacy, Milwaukee provides the largest area with three extra plots for growth, perfect for ambitious players aiming for extensive operations. Detroit, synonymous with the auto industry, provides a medium space and one plot for expansion. Okay, so it's just, there's no other things. Balanced gameplay experience. Strategic management. Chicago. Looking for urban growth and historical depth. Let's do Chicago, why not? Starting year 1900. You can go up to 1960. Technology tree unlocked. Bankruptcy, okay. 
trade orders, random encounters, competitors. Interesting that we cannot change this. Create game. Loading. Okay, here we go. First of all, we're going to pause the game. And we've got things there. That's cool. That's also a big area. Yeah, I'll need to uh, I'll need to switch off VSync, I think. In a few games now, it seems that uh, VSync has caused scrolling and stuff to be stuttery for some reason. I don't quite understand why, but there you go. The dawn of the 20th century heralds a realm of unprecedented challenges and opportunities. Exhibit the traits of an exemplary leader while assuming the role of the director of an automobile factory. The future of the automotive industry rests in your hands. And of course, my viewers, the decision to watch more of my videos rests in your hands as well. Or else. Please? Please? <laughs> anyway, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I think we're going to continue this. I quite like... I love the idea. I might actually turn this into a whole Let's Play. And, um, yeah, we'll see. So thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my Patreons. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.